All right, well, we are going to be covering today, as you guys already know, the Rattling Ned versus the Z-Man TRD Worm. Should be interesting, especially because this one's made out of elastic, and I'm pretty sure this one's made out of plastic. I haven't opened this one yet, but it does have good rattles. You can hear it rattling in the bag already. So today we're going to be covering cost, appearance, we're going to dissect them, underwater action, and durability. So, without further ado, the cost of these is quite different. So, the Z-Man TRD Worms are $3.99 for an 8-pack, and the Rattling Neds are $6.99, $6 for an 8-pack. So obviously, your Z-Mans are going to be much cheaper. These do have rattles, so I'm sure that adds to the cost, and I'm pretty sure that these also have scent in them like all the other Guggen baits do. Let's open these up. We're gonna see what these look like, compare them side by side. All right. So here is the Guggen Squad Rattle and Ned. And here is the Z-Man, everyone knows this. The Z-Man TRD. Actually, just, just by dumb luck, I bought the same color. Gobi, Gobi. So you can see uh, also, oops, you can also now see what their, what the Guggen Squad Gobi looks like versus the Z-Man. Let's dissect the Guggen Squad bait first because I want to see what that rattle looks like. I'm really curious about that. There's the rattle. There's, you can see the little rattle chamber in there. With the rattle. It just, it, the, the Guggen Squad Rattle and Ned plastic, just, it's, it's your generic plastic. It's, uh, it's definitely not the elastic that we're used to with the Z-Man products. I am very much interested to see just how well that little guy works especially in a little bit dark uh dirtier water because these baits are they work well in clear water very very well in clear water so i'm interested to see what that rattle does to the to using these baits in dirtier water now we're going to cut this guy apart and see what the inside of this one looks like the z-man trd I mean, side by side comparisons, they look honestly about the same inside. Um, definitely a little bit more salt, I think, on the Z Man than the Guggen Squad. But other than that, that's about the only difference I can tell on the inside. All right, so next comes the durability test, and I'm going to be 110% honest with you guys. There's no need for me to do the durability test because I can already tell you that the Rattle and Ned cannot do this. It's not made out of elastic. It's gonna rip. And just to prove my point, I'll destroy another bait, just so everyone knows I'm not making this up. All right. So, proof's in the pudding. It did rip, I mean, it took a lot to rip that. It's, it's very well made, but it is nowhere near as durable as the Z-Man product. So, now that we have destroyed three baits of mine, I'm going to rig these up, each of them on the same exact heads, and we're going to do a little bit of underwater footage with them just to see what they do. I'm interested to see if the Guggen Squad Rattle and Ned floats, the TRD does, because this is made out of elastic, so it floats. With the Guggen Squad being made out of plastic, I don't know if it's gonna float, and I'm interested to see if it will or not. All right, kind of messed that one up a little bit, but we're just gonna make it work. I'm not gonna get real, real picky about this. So, 
There's the two baits. We're gonna put them in our tub here and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna drop these guys in at the same time. One, two, three. And that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna drop them one more time. That is exactly what I thought was gonna happen. The Rattle and Ned is just not going to perform exactly like the TRD does. It just does not wanna do TRD things. I am all for the scent and the rattle, but it does not wanna stand up. And I, I do enjoy the fact that the bait stands up. It makes it very much look like, very much makes it look like it's a, a real Helgramite or a bug of some sorts going through the water like that. So I want you guys to comment down below what you thought, which bait performed better. Um, I'm gonna probably stick with as much as I hate to say it, because I really do uh, like helping out the Guggen Squad because I believe in what they're doing. I, I gotta stick with Z-Man. I elastic and I like the stand-up thing. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please click subscribe. If you enjoyed, if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, leave a like. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.